Hi everybody, this is Cara Johnsad, singer-songwriter and founder of Voice Your Essence. And I'm very happy to be back here today with you and that you've joined in at the Voice Your Essence podcast. And our article today is focused on vision boards. And it's entitled Create a Vision Board. So I'm not sure if some of you have made them before or if this is all new to you, but having a vision board or creating vision boards is a very powerful process. So an artist is not paid for his labor, but for his vision. Those are words of James Whistler. We are creators. We are creating songs and creating articles, creating blogs and podcasts day in and day out. We are creating always fresh and new content and things to share, things to express, ways to express. So what should we do when we fall into a doubt vortex? When we arrive at moments where we lose sight of where we want to go and start walking in circles. We are struggling to stay in touch with the colors that move through us and maybe doubt that we are on the right track. So in these moments, it is always helpful to have a vision board to look at. Ansel Adams, a fantastic photographer, said, my last word is that it all depends on what you visualize. A vision board is a great way to illustrate your dreams and increase the likelihood that you can get what you really wish for. It helps us to get in touch and to stay in touch with our big why and paint a picture of where we would really like to go. So many of you have heard about the law of attraction. And creating your own vision board is a very practical way to attract more of what you want in your life and become consciously aware what you don't want. So there are many studies that when you graphically illustrate your hopes and visions, it is increasing the likelihood that you will attract it. So here's a big question, how to create a vision board. The basics are to simply get a piece of poster board, some glue, colorful pens, find magazines and pictures and quotes, and start to cut out pictures and words that inspire you to be all that you would love to be. Now, this is the quickest and the easiest way to work. If you want to go beyond the basics, there are other exercises that I'm going to share with you today. So the basic vision board is the first step. And yet there is an advanced method. Do you know that emotion is often called energy in motion? And When you connect your visions with powerful emotions, the likelihood of them coming true increase dramatically. Because thought equals creation. And if these thoughts are attached to powerful emotions, whether they're good or bad emotions, that speeds up the creation process. So how can we connect our vision to our mega emotions? How to take the normal vision board process to a place that will really jumpstart and supercharge your visions? Well, what I like to do, and this I recommend to my clients, is to create two boards, the pro-vision board and the anti-vision board. Yeah, we need to awaken very powerful emotions for the visions to crystallize. By creating an anti-vision board, you can make the vision board process more powerful. Why? Because to create big visions, we need to tap into our emotional lives. And if we let our brains rule, we can end up with a vision board that has lots of super ideals and yet is devoid of any feeling. To be able to supercharge a vision, you're going to have to connect images to deeper emotions and strong belief systems. So here's an idea of how to create vision boards that go beyond the norm. First, create an anti-vision board. Dare to gather images that make you angry or your stomach turned. Images that absolutely disgust you. Becoming clear what you do not want is often the very first step to being clear with what you deeply, deeply long for. It is kind of like jumping into a big pool of water and using the bottom of the pool to push up against 
You push off the bottom and shoot straight up. How high can you go? Are you able to push through the resistance? When you know what you don't want, it is easier to become clear what you really do want. We need to find the courage to say no to the things and people that are not serving us if we want to rediscover ourselves and live our lives with authenticity. Barbara DeAngelis So this is the reason for two vision boards. The anti-vision board is so that you get clearer to which things you want to use to push off against. And when I did this for the first time, I had the courage to look at which pictures really disgusted me. And they were pictures of women being stoned, a Tibetan nun burning, children running amidst piles of garbage scavenging for food, pictures of hospital rooms and war zones where limbs had been blown off of innocent bystanders as they stood at the market to buy their food. My stomach turned and my heart bled, and the pictures for the new big car or the perfume advertisements paled in comparison. And allowing myself to deeply feel what I was repulsed by made it very, very clear in which direction I was meant to walk in as an artist. The visionary is the one who brings his or her voice into the world and refuses to edit, rehearse, perform, or hide. It is a visionary who knows that the power of creativity is aligned with authenticity. That last line was from Angelus Arian. So when we're creating two vision boards, the anti-vision board and the normal pro-vision board, it helps to clear our vision. And looking at the anti-vision board I had created, my focus became very clear, and I saw clearly that my path as an artist was to connect us back to the stories that actually uplift us and heal us, and they're human type of songs and human type of stories. So I moved very clearly for myself. That doesn't have to be your path. But I saw that my path was a more spiritual path than the path of an entertainer. My work suddenly became easier and I could no longer be swallowed up by the doubt vortex. No longer swallowed up by writer's block or stage fright simply left the room. The stories and pictures that moved me and made my heart swell were the ones that involved the power of love, the message of hope, the incredible challenges we can survive when we have each other and understand words such as kindness, compassion, gratitude, respect, and dedicate our lives to be in service of protecting human rights and creating a healthy environment. I found myself being pulled to pictures where people were saving beached whales and moved by stories where people put their own lives at risk to help a neighbor. So here's the vision board exercise you can try. And then just let me know how it goes for you. Drop me a message or join in on the Facebook um, sites, right? We're over there at facebook.com, then slash voice your essence, or you can hit me on the professional car, johnstead.official site. So go to the bookstore. And thank God there still are bookstores and little cafes that have wonderful books and magazines. I want you to go to a bookstore that has a great magazine selection or look for images on the World Wide Web if you're not close to a bookstore. And if you use the magazines that you have at home, these may represent the life that you have now, but not necessarily the ones that will take you beyond what you thought was possible. And you probably are not going to have so many magazines at home that disgust you. So to do this exercise, you need to go to a place that has a very, very big magazine selection. And then I want you to play a game that I know you remember playing as a kid. And that is the hot and cold game. So you're going to go to a bookstore with a big selection of magazines and allow yourself simply in a relaxed state to scan the selections and sense which ones pull you in your direction. This we're going to put into a hot category. And which ones totally repulse you? Which ones do you move strongly away from? And these magazines we're going to put into a cold category. 
And I want you to feel and not think your way through this process. I want you to deeply, deeply follow your gut instincts. And now grab the stack of hot and cold, these two extremes, and go sit down somewhere and give yourself time to page through and absorb many of these new images. Powerful action can occur without any thought. And allow yourself to gaze and scan through magazines and take the pictures that trigger and move something deep within you and go and, you know, go to the checkout counter and take them home. Whether it's the anti-vision board or your vision board, the images have to touch you in a way that is far beyond logic or reason. So it is all too easy to look for pictures that you believe is the next logical step to your career. Maybe you believe you're going to move from a small office and look for a picture of a slightly bigger one, or you move from being single to married. But you know, life doesn't have to work in a linear, logical movement. I have known many people, they, they suddenly received a world tour out of the blue. And I've known another writer who got this huge, big film offer, although he wasn't expecting it. And I even knew another person, she thought she was just going to go visit her mom, and she ended up on a tropical island with a last-minute flight. And um, even though they only had enough cash, actually, for a camping trip with the family. So life is full of the most wondrous possibilities, and it's fun to attract and nourish what you wish to create. So Jack Welch said, good business leaders create a vision. They articulate the vision, passionately own the vision and relentlessly drive it into completion. And that is my experience as an artist. We have to first have that vision. We have to create it. And vision board creation is a wonderful way to start thinking and seeing clearly. And then we have to learn to articulate it through language, through songs, through communication. And then we have to passionately start owning that vision. And then we have to relentlessly attract people and drive it into completion. So if you hear something in the background, two days ago I had the sweet joy of picking up a new golden retriever puppy dog. So he's still very new to my office studio life and um, sometimes he does thump in the background. So, so many of you may ask, why does the vision board work? It is written in the Upanishads, as is your desire so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. As is your deed, so is your destiny. A vision board helps us to pay attention and stay focused. And you can't really depend on your eyes when your imagination and your vision is totally out of focus. So I did put together for you a few sites for those of you starting out a few sites on the internet that might inspire you for your vision board. And once again, I highly recommend if you do have a wonderful neighborhood bookstore or a cafe close by that has a magazine selection, you know, just go there and support them. But for those of you that are using a lot of the internet access for your vision board process, you can check out the site Post Secret. So this is written www.postsecretarchive.com and it's a fascinating blog site where people share their deepest secrets. Okay? And another kind of fun site is the Web Designer Wall. Webdesignerwall.com is a place to gather ideas on some of the most creative and top websites and design imagery. And... Then there's another site, boardofwisdom.com, which has a lot of inspirational and motivational quotes. And some of you might be on pinterest.com, a site where people are creating pin boards of photos that move them. Or there are also photography sites out there, including flickr.com, which is a community dedicated to people who love taking photos. So enjoy creating your vision boards and share with me the things that have worked, and where this adventure has taken you. And, well, one of my favorite singers, she she inspired me a lot when I was starting out, Judy Garland, she said, remember always to be a first-rate version of yourself 
instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. And when we get clear what our own unique visions are that we carry deep within and where we'd really like to go with our lives and spend our time and energy and, and which types of situations we'd love to experience, then it really helps us in that direction of voicing our own essence and nobody else's, okay? So much love. I'm going to see you again very, very soon. That was my new puppy. Okay, talk to you soon. And um, I tell you, puppy love. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Deep down, there are dragon tears, but the rooster he disagreed.